What's up, Creepers and Geekers? Chris, the Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? First and foremost, let me apologize for my inactivity as of the past few weeks. Typically, I try to do these videos when I'm home by myself, and lately that has not been the case. I've had peoples all over the place, and it's just been tough to get a video in sideways. So for that, I do apologize. I haven't really decided to take any kind of a break or hiatus. That's just really the way it goes here at the Creep Farm. So, let me take a sip of my Sony Pop. Let's talk about what we're going to talk about today. On the Creeps Play Things. Now, if you recall not too long ago, I did a video on these little Dollar Tree GoBots. Um, I think I also called them Transformers so that they would get more exposure. You know what I mean. You know how it works. But, long story short, I'll put a link to that video down below and at the end card um, annotation things at the end of this video. However, there were four of these that I picked up, six total if you count, color variants, and they were pretty cool for what they were. Um, I'm still happy with them. They're on my shelf. And, you know, again, they are what they are. They're dollar store toys, but surprisingly done pretty well. However, I was in the Dollar Tree the other day. Get the fuck out of here with your small ass. And I got these somewhat full-size ones. They look like they're about five inches tall each. Um, as far as vehicles are concerned, I, I was only able to find three. That said, this here, the tank, and this, which I believe is just a car, yep, had two different color variants. I chose these particular ones. We'll get into the reasons later if it's important. This one kind of is, but, uh, but I was only able to find the three. And also, if you saw that other video about the little GoBot ones, you'll recall the back showed all four of the ones that you could get. To co complete your collection, you know, um, whereas this one literally just shows the vehicle itself and what you'll be opening in that specific package. So I don't know if these are going to be the only three that they make. Again, not including the color variants of these two, and I'm sure there'll be a color variant of this guy too. There just wasn't one at my store. Um, they typically like to do these things in fours. So I'm hoping there might be one more. I mean, I'm not going to make another video. That was sucked that I went through all this, and then I make a video for one of them. So let's have a look at these ones individually. We'll open them up. I'll try to transform them. Yeah, you know, we'll just give some closing thoughts. I mean, they're Dollar Tree toys, so you can't really expect too much. So let's start with this yellow and purple son of a bitch. Um, overall, again, it's what you would expect for a Dollar Tree toy. The plastic doesn't feel too cheap, but it does feel loose and flimsy. But this is something the kid could play with for a little bit. As long as they're one of those kids that are careful with their toys, I think they could buy with this. Um, not too much detail. Your typical hollow limbs and that kind of thing. I think the head looks pretty cool. If I could just put it in camera. I need to look at the viewfinder and not the actual toy itself. I need to learn to do that. After all these years, I still don't do that. So let me try to transform this guy in front of you. Um, there's no instructions. It just says... It'll eventually turn into this. Uh, um, does that go there? Yeah, it looks like it does. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh, ah, 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 ah. So let me turn this sideways. No, that's got to go in somehow. Oh, you know what? Oh, oh, no, it broke. Maybe just take that off. There we go. Just kidding. Look at the back of the package to see what it's supposed to look like. All right, so all the stuff's are supposed to stay on it. Are these supposed to go? So I've never honestly been good at Transformers at all. It has never been my thing. Oh, you know what? Here we go. Here we go. I think I think that's where we're supposed to be at with this. I'm calling that good, though. <laughs> Call it that good. That's the best you're going to get from the creep on that guy. I figured it out after the fact. See the little nip there? You're actually supposed to pop this off. And put that in there like that. And there we go. Now, now it's what it's supposed to be. I suppose those can just go like that. And there you go. You have your nice little purple and yellow fighter jet. Alright, now on to the next one. All right, so here's the sports car robot. And actually, you know what? The front end looks pretty cool. It's kind of like a cross between something Chrysler would make and a Mustang. Um, head is exactly what you would think it would be. Uh, just a, you know, overall cool-looking little car figure. So, I don't know. I 
know these are supposed to flip over, or maybe I bring the body over. This one seems to feel a little cheaper than than the other ones, so. All right, that's definitely going to go that way. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, simple enough. Actually, I'm glad I chose the gray over the red. Um, this is just an all-around nicer-looking vehicle. How the hell is that supposed to go? 18 hours later. Okay, I just, I needed to twist this before. It does twist. I just, it felt like it was going to break if I did that. So then you close the front fenders and you slide that forward. And there's a little, a little catch on the hands for the rear quarters to kind of just clip onto. Oh my God. I'm over here like, these are great quality. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, you transforming prick. Mechanical asshole. Come on. There's a little slot and peg and hole here. Um, okay, well, that's the best we're going to get with this, I suppose. But there you go. It is. It's a Mustang. Of sorts, if you will. And last, we have what I consider to be the flimsiest of the three, but might be, I say this now, might be the easiest to transform. <laughs> um, I picked this one over. They did have a green variant that was more army-like, but this had this yellow detail with the star and all that stuff, whereas the other one didn't for some reason. So I decided to go with this one here. Um, so I'm guessing these have to go out like this. Because this is the bottom tread. Again, if I would only just do this in camera. Now, will this one twist? No, this one definitely does not twist. The head does something, though. So, honestly, this is... Ex oh, the head is just pegged in there. That's why it's loose. Um, I have never been good at any kind of transform or anything growing up. So, this is how it would be if we were playing with, like, real transformers. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. <laughs> this is a pain in the ass. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I think we got this. If we don't break it. Guns up front. Guns up front. To kill the enemy. There we go. There we go, yeah. So this one was a little easier. Um, I just got to slot the back of the turret. Is that what this part is called? into where the feet were and there we go I mean that's the best we're gonna get that's pretty cool you know what I kinda dig this one I didn't think this was gonna be my favorite I honestly thought the Mustang here was gonna be my favorite but that is pretty cool um I might have a use for this though I might have to remove this and use it for something if you remember I was making my um death proof Nova this is one of my hang-ups, a little pansy for the passenger side. I might just make that the pansy for it. It's about the right scale, but yeah, there we go. There's the tank. So here they are in their common everyday vehicle stage. And I got to say, actually, I like these a little bit better than the GoBot ones. Um, I don't know where all four of them are, so I literally only brought the one out. But that is a really cool design. I'm digging that quite a bit. I may get the color variants of these just to have them um, I thought I was gonna be puking all over these especially the goofy colors on the fighter jet um, but overall I'm actually pretty sad I mean a buck you can't go wrong now I said earlier that a little kid could probably have hours of fun with these or something to that effect without breaking them I'm kind of taking that back right now so you're gonna get these for your kids and they're not really gonna I don't think they're gonna last too long as long as they're the type of kid that's careful with this shit um, I think they'll be okay and last, just to punish myself a little further, here they are back in their robot form. Because, be quite honest with you, isn't this how we're going to display them anyway? So guys, I hope you enjoyed this look at my Dollar Tree transforming robots. Um, I love finding stupid little shit like this to play with. And chances are I'll end up on my whatever shelf. I have a shelf that's just full of crap that I just pile everything on. Which is where my little GoBot guys ended up, and that's why I can't find one of them. But either way, guys, um, again, I want to apologize for my lack of activity on the channel. 
Um, I will pick it back up here pretty soon. So, guys, I hope you had a great St. Paddy's Day. I hope you had a great weekend in general. And I hope you're doing well. So, thanks as always so much for watching. Go ahead and leave feedback. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. All feedback to the creep is positive. And until next time, take care. Creep it real. And bye bye He's got the coolest head.